What was it like? Terrifying. Slightly hungover and terrifying. For everyone to stop being like, when is your album coming mm -hmm. out? And us being like, we don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we will have some high drama in the show. Uh, so that'll be like a, a breather. This week on Headline Country, it's the week Music Row becomes Music Island. We'll take you to the 17th annual Key West Songwriters Festival. Carrie Underwood gets set to blow away a town near you. And we'll catch up with a rising star we first introduced to you from last year's Key West Fest, Thomas Rhett. Plus Songwriting 101, artists share the biggest obstacles in between a great idea and a hit song. We're Love and Theft and Headline Country from Key West. Starts right now. And we're a stormy, dude. Come with us next year, dude. Don't miss out. Hello, everybody. I'm Stormy Warren from the southernmost point in the continental United States. Welcome to Headline Country. Well, if you're a music lover and you don't mind warm tropical breezes, umbrella drinks, and perfectly clear turquoise blue waters, then the annual Key West Songwriters Festival is the perfect addition to your bucket list. Each year, hundreds of songwriters and thousands of fans make the pilgrimage to beautifully quirky Key West to share their common love of music in its most raw and honest form. Welcome! Make a little noise! Welcome to Key West! Key West, Florida. I did not get any better than this. Welcome to the Key West Songwriters Festival, where country music comes in all shapes and sizes. keep talking about it can't get bigger every year and uh, this has just been it has just been the biggest again first year y'all came in what was it, like 30 maybe 20 30 writers yeah and then the next year there were a hundred <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how do you like me now now that I'm on my way I've been here nine years straight so I haven't missed many of them but uh, once I the very first one I had to I was addicted to it. This is my first writer's round of all time. What was it like? Terrifying. Slightly hungover and terrifying. Don't you want to stay here a little while? Why do it and uh, what makes it so cool? Well, I, 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 I like your spirit. I like your spirit. Uh, <laughs> that's why. Yeah. <laughs> what brings you back? Well, the weather's terrible, so that's, that's not why. Um, <laughs> None of the people are nice, and there's not good music. I wake up in teardrops that fall down like rain. Hearing these songs, you go, wow, I know that song, or <laughs> what a great song, even if I don't know it. Crazy girl, don't you know that I love you? What's the difference between, say, going to a, um, a big festival in an arena and coming to see the songwriters do what they do in an intimate setting? Because you're shoulder to shoulder with them, yeah. listening to the new stuff. You have one-on-one -on -one interaction and actually get to meet them and hang out with them, and that's it, for sure. Country girl, shake it for me, girl. Shake it for me, girl. Shake it for me. Does it shock you to see how popular being a singer-songwriter can be? I just think, I think the power of music is incredible. It just brings uh, something out of people that makes it, uh, makes you special. But you better believe you're gonna fly with me. Sure is a lot more fun to come here with the number one song under your belt, isn't it? Man, what a feeling. And we're walking around the streets with beer in our hands. It's great. It also helps that they know the words. So when you're clamming up over there and trying to remember how the song goes, they kind of lift you up a little bit. It's good. <laughs> I don't know which is cooler, just being able to walk around with a beer all day long. And shots and all kinds of good but stuff. I think the number one's cooler. You've got the moon, I've got the shine. It's very inspiring, you know, and it's also really nice to take a break and have a week to just collect ideas, and I'm just gonna hit the ground running right when I get back to Nashville. We come before the festival starts. Uh -huh. So we get work done before the festival starts. When the festival starts, it kinda goes <laughs> downhill. People come down here and it really slows you down. You're really touched by, you know, the weather, just the way of life. And I think that that was one thing that Ernest Hemingway could come down here and do, was clear his mind, relax, and, and write. Well, I'm coming around, I'm figuring out a lot of things I thought I knew. You've gotten to experience some pretty cool things, but as a songwriter uh, sitting in the chair of one of the most famous writers ever, what's going through your head? I can't even stop smiling, man. I, I, I don't even know. It's one of these things that I feel like is gonna take a, a few days to sink in, I mean, 
Ernest Hemingway sat here and did 70% of his writing. He is uh, very much like the modern day songwriter, loves whiskey and, uh, and chasing women. You can find a whole lot of that about two blocks from here. So uh, I, guess, <laughs> I guess that comes with the territory. Way out here. We're gonna put you on the spot here. This is Hemingway's actual own personal computer. You're in Key West, one of the most inspirational and creative places on the planet. Uh, do us a favor, uh, scribble down on maybe a line of a, of a song that will someday be completed, but know that it was started right here on Hemingway's desk. Is this Adele? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> we got a good start. Good start. Here. I got the S. <laughs> I got the S. I got the S. We're going to space bar it. This is why it takes so long between records. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm the same old plain old me. All right, so the typewriter's broken, but you still can write the on his desk. By me. We're, I'm going to send it in uh, and get it fixed. There it is. Terrible handwriting, misspelt words. Read it off. Sometimes I wish the words came in like waves. They always know exactly what to say. Hit. Goes for ads June 2nd. Co-written by Hemingway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still a little ways from slowing it all the way down. But I'm coming around. There is a young crop of talent coming in faster and more furious than I've seen in yeah. a long time. I've seen, I've, I've noticed that too. And, and they're good. Yeah. You know, they're like really strong. So it's, it's a whole new generation. It's good to see a lot of different talent, a lot of people from different genres here. That's what the Key West Festival does. There's rock guys here, there's rock bands here. And uh, it's a good place to uh, meet those guys that you wouldn't normally meet on the streets of Nashville. Where I come from. Bring your flip-flops, your shorts, kick back, and enjoy. Come on, come on, get your time on. Come on, come on. This year, proceeds from the festival help raise money for Operation Homefront, an organization that provides crisis services for families of our troops serving overseas. For more information, visit operationhomefront.net. More from beautiful Key West when we come back. Coming up. I, I definitely predict some broken down section in the show though. Well, even though we are isolated in our paradise here in Key West, Florida, it's not the only thing happening in country music. Here's a look at some of the top stories making country headlines this week. He's no good girl, no good for you. While Carrie Underwood continues to blow away the competition on the album charts, fans can get their one-way ticket to see Carrie's Blown Away tour beginning Friday, May 11th. Turn the radio up and sing along with it. Hey, we got a one-way ticket. The four-month trek kicks off September 14th in Manchester, New Hampshire, and will feature special guest Hunter Hayes. We definitely want to um, have a variety of songs from the new album, obviously. Um, want to bring bring in the hits, the ones everybody already knows. Uh, so we'll, we'll just work out some fine balance of all of that. Um, I, I definitely predict some broken down section in the show though, because there's, there's some really great uh, groovy organic songs, or just sway songs, you know, and, and uh, people can just kind of kind of relax for a minute because we will have some high drama in the show. Uh, so that'll be like a, a breather. Visit headlinecountry.net for more information on how you can be blown away. And while you're there, be sure to vote in our weekly online poll and tell us what you think of Carrie's new album. Rascal Flats can thank a banjo for their latest stint at the top of the charts. Banjo, the first single from their eighth studio album, Changed, has just become the trio's 14th number one. You can catch the guys and their banjo out on the road beginning June 15th. Little Big Town, Eli Young Band, and Eden's Edge will round out the show.
Well, Gloriana isn't a group that typically likes to kiss and tell, unless, of course, they're at a photo shoot and the topic of their new album, A Thousand Miles Left Behind, comes up. We have been done with this record for well over a year now, so we are very ready for everyone to hear it and very ready, you know, <laughs> for everyone to stop being like, when is your album coming out? And us being like, we don't know. <laughs> the album slated to release this summer holds a lot of firsts for the group. Aside from going from a quartet to a trio, each member had a hand in co-writing every single song on the project. We've been through so much as a band over the past three years. And we went through all these experiences together and I think we've grown, there's a lot of growth with this new record and uh, even just in ourselves personally. So that's really what the record is representing. And representing the album quite well is their latest single, Kissed You Goodnight. It's already a top 20 hit. Country Radio has been so great to us with this new single and that's also so nice because when we go and play shows, uh, whatever town we're in, it's great to see the people singing along and they know all the words and uh, it's definitely a sign that they've been hearing it on the radio. Good night. When we come back, what a difference a year makes. We'll catch up with rising star Thomas Rhett. Welcome back to the Better Angels Key West Songwriters Festival. I'm Stormy Warren. This is the Smoke and Tuna Saloon, ground zero for this year's festival, home to many of the dozens of songwriter shows scattered across the island. During our coverage of last year's festival, we introduced you to a guy named Thomas Rhett son of former recording artist turned massively successful hit songwriter Red Akins. Now at the time, Thomas Rhett was just beginning to get out from underneath his dad's shadow. One year later, thanks to his debut hit, Something to Do With My Hands, Thomas Rhett has found a spotlight all his own. Twenty twelve has been good to Thomas Rhett. When we first met the newcomer last spring at the Key West Songwriters Festival, he was getting some tips and stirring up a little rivalry with veteran hitmaker Rhett Akins, better known as his dad. My goal is for him to be a huge, huge star, and I get to open for him, you know, and uh, and I, I want him to pay me, you know, 20, 30 grand a night to, to open. I mean, you know, I've bought him cars, sent him to college, sent him to private school. I need a little payback. I can't even get a Jason Aldean cut. Jason, if you're watching, help, help a dad out, man. Come hey, on. Hey, don't give him any cuts, Jason. Right? Oh, oh, so this is how it goes. Yeah. Hey, he gets a number one every three, four weeks, so, you know, I'm just struggling for it ain't cut. So. Yeah, it's going to turn into a competition now you know fast forward one year later and the competition is indeed heating up with a songwriting cut on al dean's my kind of party album under his 21 year old belt thomas's debut single as an artist something to do with my hands is now making its own statement on the charts you know i wrote this song about a year ago one of my buddies had the title and another guy had uh, the melody and it was one of those tunes where you know a couple weeks later i still liked it and uh, that doesn't happen a lot, and uh, that's kind of how I knew I had a good tune. And so we still liked it when we were trying to pick songs for this first record, and we just thought this would be the best one, you know, to come first with. It's just, it's up tempo, it's fun, it's tongue cheek, and you know, it's a good good setup for the rest of the stuff we got. So maybe I can stick them in your pockets, run them through your hair, and we can get to rocking. There's a lot of firsts going on in my life, you know, being on the road and getting used to spending the night in a Marriott hotel every night, and and uh, getting up and going and playing for radio stations and and uh, playing shows, and um, this is just a whole new lifestyle for me. Thomas Rhett can add one more first to that list, filming a music video, and in true country music fashion, nonetheless, at a bar with plenty of girls. The song's fun, and, and uh, it's up-tempo, and, and uh, it's just a rocker, and we want, we want people to feel the same when they watch the videos they do when they hear it on the radio, you know, just happy. So definitely today is cool, because, you know, I mean, you've, I've been filmed before, but not under, under this these kind of circumstances with like real cameras and train tracks so it's been awesome um, definitely bigger production than I ever expected I didn't know it was gonna be like this but uh, it's, it's very cool to be a part of something like this and some of my buddies from school were here that I went to college with and so it's cool to have them there because you know I know them and I can be idiots with them and all that kind of stuff but it's been fun you know especially my buddies being here <laughs>
The hit, along with several other self-penned tunes, will be featured on his debut album, releasing this fall. It's very different. There's, you know, this is, I would consider this a pretty rocking tune, and, you know, there's there's some pretty cool ballads on there that are that are really country, and there's some that are very New Orleans-y kind of feeling, and, and uh, got a little hip-hop going on in them, and that's just who I am, you know, I, I can't really just incorporate one single genre into a tune, I gotta, gotta put everything in there, so it's gonna be a fun project. Still to come, songwriters share the long and windy road between a great idea and a hit song. Well, it may look easy putting a bunch of lyrics to music and writing a song, and maybe it is. I can't do it. But what about writing a truly big hit song, one that changes people's lives, or one that becomes that next unforgettable sing-along smash the odds of that happening are very, very slim. There are a lot of obstacles between a great idea and a hit song. For proof, we once again turn to the songwriters of Key West. What is the biggest obstacle from point A to point B as a songwriter? Just not being worse than the idea, you know, not not getting in the way of the idea. And I say this all the time, it's like, well, we have a hit, now all we gotta do is not mess it up. Sometimes, if you don't let the song be what it is, you know, and, and no, nah, I don't know about that, or, or second guessing it and overthinking it, I think you could ruin a good song. Does that happen? Oh yeah, it's happened. <laughs> don't you wanna stay here a little while? It's a very fine line, it seems like, between keeping something inspired feeling and overcooking something. And so it's that's the internal struggle, is just always kind of coming back to him, does it sound honest, does this sound cool, does it sound like we are crafty songwriters trying to whip something up as opposed to something that sounds like it's been there before. Sometimes it'll give it to you, you know, the idea will come to you in a form that you go, okay, that's the way that's got to be written. And then sometimes it'll come and it's just a great hook, great idea, and then you have to figure out how to write it. But you better believe you're gonna fly with me. It's probably, you know, the melody, because the melody changes a ton. You know, you, you can put down the words, but if you ain't, you don't have the right melody, man, it's, it, it's tough. And you could ruin a good lyric? Oh, I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, I've got a, a whole catalog of that. I'll write a melody first and have the song sound like it's supposed to be on radio before I ever write the first lyric. We're not trying to write what we're already hearing on radio. We're trying to yeah. forge a path to the future of music. So that everybody's trying to write what we're writing. That's the key, <laughs> is to make everybody else go, oh my god, those guys are so cool. Totally. Everyone romanticizes it and says, oh, I had this great idea. Now, really what happens is you sit down and you look at each other and go, you got anything? I don't know. All right, well, what's been kind of bothering you lately? Okay, well, what's been making you happy lately? Okay. It's a miracle to get from point A to point B. It's just lightning in a bottle. And not every roadblock can be beaten, can it? No, sometimes you just have to walk away from it a little bit, but sometimes it comes back to you a couple weeks later or a couple hours later. You just never know. Johnny Cash and John D. But I think you have to get through the horrible ones to get to the the gold the gold ones. You know that's uh, that's what I think at least. And it feels good when you get to that point B, doesn't it? It does. It's like you celebrate. You're on cloud nine. It's like a super drug high, and for like two days, and then you're back down trying to scratch them out again. So it's uh, <laughs> it, it's great. I love it. Well, to all of you aspiring songwriters out there, remember it's not as easy as it looks. Well, I want to thank the island of Key West, Better Angels Music, BMI, Charlie Bauer, and the Smoke and Tuna Saloon, and of course, all the talented singer-songwriters who made for another amazing Songwriters Festival in Paradise. Until next time, keep up with everything going on in country music at GACTV.com, HeadlineCountry.net, or on Twitter at HeadlineCountry. Follow me at Stormy Warren. Take care from Key West. Yeah. Come on! The clock, head for home, check the phone, just in case, go to bed, dream of you, that's what I'm doing these days.